for today's Furniture Friday video. The very first piece we're gonna be working on, even though my hands are covered in paint, is not getting painted. Ta-da! We're gonna show you how to use dark oil wax to spruce up your antiques, and then we do have a paint project that's for us, for our backyard. Yeah, this piece does have some veneer damage, and we contemplated painting over it, but it's so minimal, and most of the piece is in really good condition. Even the drawers slide good, so we've decided to leave it alone. And we thought it'd be a fun way to show you how to use dark oil wax. Okay, so here's the background. I told you I was gonna show you things that I'm working on while Zeb's over working on the chairs. Just working on the thrift flips for this week. I wound up having, if you guys watched the live video, these were cream, but I had some bleed through that nothing stopped. So I went ahead and went with weathered wood and I'm gonna go ahead and get started on putting, cleaning this really good. We'll get some dark oil wax, let it sit, and then we'll wipe it back. First things first, we have to get these knobs off. I wanna reuse them, so we're just gonna take them off before we give it a really good scrub down. My favorite product to use for cleaning is Citrus Solve. It just takes a little cap full and I just use my Dawn Mister and just add water and the Citrus Solve and it degreases the entire piece. I'm gonna scrub this down. This is actually really, really important because when you're using dark oil wax, which we're gonna do in a minute, if there's any residue or anything on there, it just won't stick. It's not like a paint. It has to actually soak into the finish. So make sure your piece is really clean, make sure you get any scuff marks off of it, and then you'll be ready for the next step, which is dark oil wax. You can pick up dark oil wax at jamierayvintage.com. Make sure you pour it out into a bowl that you don't super love because it will stain it. And use a brush that's not super expensive because I've never really been able to get it all the way out of it. Make sure when you're brushing it on, you do nice, even brush strokes and cover your piece liberally because you're going to let it sit on there for about 15 to 25 minutes. Once it sits on there for 15 to 25 minutes, you'll be ready, you'll be ready to wipe it off. I set my timer and now we're gonna wipe it back. After we wipe it back, we'll just let it sit overnight. Okay, so while this is drying, now that I've wiped it back, I'll give you a little sneaky peeky of all the projects that Zeb and I finished. Mostly me, because Zeb's been in the garden, but Zeb did get his clock done, his lantern, and all I had to do on that was seal it, but this stuff turned out super cute. So this is our back patio. We have been working on it. It may not look like much, but we've added this pergola. We're gonna have the full video on that once it's finished on the Jamie and Zeb channel. But today for Furniture Friday, I really wanna get these chairs painted. And I think I'm gonna use cottage color in white linen. This is kind of a seating area here. I ordered those off of Amazon and these are originally from Ikea, but they've been outside for a couple of years. So I'm just thinking if we paint them, it'll give it a good refresh. So I'm gonna take them over the shop and we'll give them a little paint finish. Here's a close up so you can see kind of the bleached out wood. It's really dry and it needs something on it stupid fly. Also, this is for my neighbor's tree, so ignore that. Say hi, Rex. Say hi. So I'm thinking white linen is going to look good. Then we can put a black pillow on there and they will be refreshed. So I just dropped these off. I'm going to head home to work on my other project. I asked Seb to film himself spraying these in cottage color, see if that happens. And I'll give you a little sneak peek on all the other things I've been painting today. Sometimes I think, uh, <laughs> People are like, why don't you just leave stuff for Zeb to do? We always divide and conquer. So he's here working on the garden and gonna spray. And I'm at home working on the other furniture and the painted thrift hall so we can get out of town. The garden is really coming along. We've done a lot of irrigation and updates to the yard that don't look like a lot now, but pretty quick here, we're gonna have it all planted. If you wanna see more videos on this and more in-depth details, just follow us at Jamie and Zeb on YouTube and Facebook. All right, so this has literally been here for like four days and it's just around the corner from the shop. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Do you have 
one of your mystery grab bag knobs? That I bet like you this? I do have the same. These are those weird Batman oh, well, knobs. These drawers aren't just fake drawers. They're like solid wood. Yeah. This is a good little dresser. Maybe we'll use it for next week's Furniture Friday video that I'm actually probably going to film tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put it in. All right. So I got cottage colors in white linen. And this is almost the right consistency to spray. You just need to add a little bit of water to a pint. This is a pint. And it's got a built-in sealer. So once we're done spraying this old cane chair off our back porch, I honestly don't know how long we've had this chair. I think it's... Two years. Is it only two years? Or did two we years. have it under the uh, pavilion at the other house? Is it, is it no, it's five been two or years. six years old? Two years. Only two? Well, it's we got it when we got it. And we're gonna paint it white to go uh, go with Jamie's new back porch decor. Yeah. I'll show you my messy house. This is project kitchen. I'm almost done cleaning that, then brushes, but you know, all with time. Okay, so here are the chairs. Ignore the towels everywhere. It's been raining. We got to wipe dog paws, but they turned out amazing. They're already sealed. I'm not going to distress them. I'll just let nature do that. Let's get these outside. I think they definitely need black throw pillows with some white accents, but so far, I'm really excited about how they turned out, and they were chairs we were just going to throw away. So luckily, I found these cushions on Amazon. I will drop the link for those, and when I find pills, I'll let you guys know. So mom and I are shopping. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Oh, hi. <laughs> who, who are you talking to? I'm on YouTube. YouTube with who? <laughs> so we're at Home Goods, and we looked at all their pillows, and we finally decided to go with just these. Uh, no doggy treats. I mean, you can pick one, but they're kind of picky puppies. So we're going to use these on the backs. So they're actually cushions to sit on, but I think they'll look good. $29.99 for two of them. So I'll show you what they look like when we get home. All right. So I'm not completely sold on these, but here are the cushions we bought last night. But they are comfortable. They work. Maybe we'll figure something else out. watching today's video stick around because I'm going to include close-ups of all of our projects so you can see exactly what they look like so I didn't do a whole lot on this piece other than moving it around from here to there Jamie did all the oil waxing but it just goes to show how easy it is to brighten up a piece she cleaned it oil waxed it it's got a whole new life and a new sealer on the top I normally like to paint everything but the wood on this was beautiful and I actually just loved the grain pattern to me, not all wood is my favorite, and I also really love a mix of natural wood and painted items, so I like to have a good balance here in the shop. If you need these paint products, visit jamierayvintage.com, and if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, share it out, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. See you next Friday. Oh, you did.